So we ran into our first issue with the Eco Challenge Disco. Remember a few videos ago where we were doing a little snow wheeling in the old Risco Disco turd of a Discovery 5-speed and the temp gauge started climbing. Is that gauge supposed to be that high? Well, that happened in the Eco Disco. That's unfortunate. Welcome back to the Lost Cause Ranch. A few weeks, month, two months ago, I don't know, time flies, we bought this little beauty of an Eco Challenge XD Discovery on cars and bids. And I've been driving it for a little bit and it is awesome. I love it. But one morning, going to work, we had an issue, like I said. But before we get into that issue, uh, make sure to stick around to the end of the video. We're gonna have a little competition, bought a little tool for the ranch, and in the comments, I want some suggestions, and we're gonna pick a winner, and that winner's going to get this hat right there, little five panel retro Lost Cause Ranch leather patch hat, shipped out to him, all free. So woke up this morning and drove the old Eco Disco into work today. But we ran into a little issue about halfway here and the temp gauge started to climb a little bit. Great, discovery problems. You know how it goes. Just before I pulled in the lot, it started pushing a little coolant. It never climbed much above halfway, but it did climb. So topped it back off, fired it back up and what do we got going on? You can't feel it because it's a camera. You can't feel through the camera, but we got some slush in the old upper radiator hose. So I got shame on me for not checking whether the antifreeze had the correct mix. And being it's below zero right now, you can tell by my proper attire that it's like six below. Cold enough to freeze it. So we'll make a little room for this guy in the shop and let her thaw out and get it flushed out and the correct mix put in it. Richmond, Virginia. Look at this. I mean, it should be good, right? Ice is colder than water. So Ted's got it all flushed out here and adding some fresh coolant. We're gonna make sure the mix is right this time. And hopefully we don't have some 7-Eleven Slurpee going on there. And we'll drive this thing and fingers crossed, I didn't mess anything up and it's a short trip of frozen radiator, but we shall see. It is good to well colder than it's gonna get here, hopefully. If it freezes that up, we got more problems than just the discovery. So, been driving it, put another thousand miles on with zero issues. So, the 214,000 mile Eco Disco lives to see another day. We don't have to do head gaskets just yet. Not saying it might not get that in the future anyways. One thing I haven't done yet though is go through the random bits that we got. So let's see what this guy came with. Surprise us. I'm sure this is just full of great Land Rover treasures. We have an extra airbag. Let me check to make sure it even has one. Yep, an extra airbag. There's one on the wheel. We have used belts. We'll keep those in there. That's not a bad thing to have around. ABS sensor appears to be new. Hoses, some of them appear to be new. Another rip part radiator hose. This one has less frozen coolant in it. Instrument cluster. This one's lower mile. Broken cluster surround. Probably just toss that. We don't, we don't need that. Some AA yellow touch up paint. Nice, ball joints, ball joint, singular. Or AA yellow 
touch up paint, a fuel filter. This one's got LED bulbs in it. These are the factory bulbs. Column surround, and we got a blower motor. This is a used one, which is interesting because the one in there now cuts out as well. So obviously that didn't fix the problem. We got some shock bushings, filler panel by the sunroof that's missing. This one also has a hole in it. Ooh, these are always good. Spare Discovery One headlight retainers. Sunroof ECU. That's strange. This doesn't have a sunroof. Hmm. Lug nuts, never have enough nuts. Sway bar bushing, brake clips, brake light switch, some seals, window regulator, used brake pad. Really glad we got this guy. I don't know what we'd do without it. Window motor, anything interesting. More bushings, more ball joints, one U joint. Loads more lug nuts. That's the extent of the good stuff. But we have stuff. We also have an extra fuel pump, which is actually a good thing to have in a Discovery run through a lot of those for some reason. And then we got these, a container of Land Rover stuff established 1948. I think these guys are seat covers, but we'll pull them out here. Believe that's what that is. Some waterproof seat covers. They look fairly faded. That almost looks a little too complicated. Lots of pieces for me um, to put them in. I was going to throw them in the back here so we can keep it clean with Sasha, but it's just cloth. She'll she won't tear it up. Maybe we'll get one of them canvas doggy things. Up front here, we already have some covers on there. They got a Land Rover in the center, but they have some Exmoor seat covers or seat leathers. They're a little ripped anyways, and we'll probably refinish that at some point. But overall, I'm loving this thing. It is a blast to drive. Um, I think we may re-gear it at some point. It does have the camshaft in it, but the four liters aren't powerhouses. So we'll probably go, I don't know, four tens or something. Maybe four tens. Four tens sounds good. And then I think we're gonna go ahead and order up some replacement line. We're gonna go synthetic line on that guy and we'll redo our little limb climbers into something a little nicer looking. These are just weathered. And clean up some of the wiring and do some lights up front. Outside of that, what do you guys think we should do to the Eco XD? Let me know down below. I'm, I'm open to suggestions. I mean, pretty much doesn't need a whole lot more. We might update the shocks and then just use it. The thing's a blast. We'll probably have some fun in the woods a little bit because it is just rough enough that not going to feel bad if we pinstripe it some. It's got some dents. We're not going to fix those. I like it. It adds character. I like to think that it happened during the Eco Challenge Adventure Race. This, this happened in British Columbia. That's what I'm going to tell people. But with that being said, let's get to the hat giveaway. I'm a glutton for punishment. I like projects. I like rough stuff. You know that. So, sold the tractor at the house. I need something to clean snow and maybe push some broken rovers around. So I bought myself an old Bobcat, 753. Little guy, we're looking for, I'm looking for a track skid steer, but the market is insane right now. And honestly, I don't know what I'm buying when it comes to skid steers. So I figured I'd educate myself on a cheaper guy and figure out how they work before I go shell out track machine money. What the competition is, this thing needs paint. It's white and orange. We don't really want it to be white and orange. So I want some suggestions. Two or three color combo. The rear's normally orange, rest is white, cab's black. Let me know what you guys would like to see this thing painted and Whoever we end up going with picking, we're gonna send you a hat. We'll run this through next Wednesday, which is February 16th. And whoever we end up picking, we'll send you a hat. You can be anywhere in the world. Um, 
if there is multiples of the same color combo, person who said it first will be the winner. So let us know down below what we should paint the old Bobcat 753 Land Rover pusher over thing. It's of equal quality of some of our Land Rovers, but it'll be nice someday, just like the Land Rovers. With that being said, appreciate you guys watching. We will catch you on the next one. Sneak peek. One thing I'm kind of bummed about though is I think it was supposed to come with a mug from the adventure race. So I don't know if that just didn't get shipped with it or if the transporter took it. That's the way she goes though. 